The Fox 5 I team has obtained body cam video that sheds new light on the decision to charge a Gwinnett County father in the accidental shooting of his son. Three-year-old Salvador Osorio uh, survived rather after he shot himself with an AR-15 while playing under his parents' bed. Two veterans in the Gwinnett DA's office lost their jobs when they disagreed with their boss's decision to indict the father. But Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis watched video in which the father says he knew his weapon was loaded, which changes the whole story. It sure does, uh, Russ and Christine. That was part of the reason these uh, two members of the DA's office and the Gwinnett Police Detective all recommended no charges be filed. They did not think they could prove the father knew the AR-15 under his bed was loaded. But DA Patsy Austin Gatson insisted there was probable cause to charge the father. The video you're about to see will likely be key evidence for her case. We're going to have a three-year-old male being transported with abdominal injuries and leg injuries. As soon as he heard his young son had somehow shot himself with one of his many guns, Adrian Osorio raced home from his landscaping job to face some concerned Gwinnett County cops. You don't think I feel blamed already with yeah, I know, I know. A game of hide-and-go-seek led his three-year-old son to hide in a favorite kid's spot, under his parents' bed. But that's where Adrian kept his collection of long guns. Salvador shot himself with his AR-15. Police also discovered two loaded handguns in a nearby nightstand. We usually keep them loaded, the guns underneath the bed. I mean, they have the clip there, but I, I never leave the chamber. I don't know, maybe I, mean, maybe I forgot. Two veteran members of the Gwinnett DA's office wrote this memo to DA Patsy Austin Gatson, arguing Osorio should not be indicted for the shooting, partly because it cannot be proven that the subject knew it was loaded or who loaded it. The Gwinnett police detective also recommended no charges, writing, it is reasonable to believe Adrian thought the AR-15 was unloaded. But listen to how he answered that crucial question at the scene. And then your shotgun, your AK, and your AR, do you leave them loaded? I think the AR, uh, the, the AR. The AR was loaded? Okay. Two individuals in my office that decided there was no probable cause, none whatsoever, was untrue. Both Courtney Spicer and Benji Fennell lost their jobs when they refused to move forward with the case in the way their boss wanted. Last month, a grand jury indicted Adrian Osorio on second-degree felony cruelty to children and misdemeanor reckless conduct. He's free on bond. Neither Spicer nor Fennell would comment on this new video. Neither would Gwinnett Police or Osorio's attorney. I do have a policy at protecting our innocents, the ones that don't know that a gun is not a toy. If you're a gun owner with children, it's common sense to keep your weapon locked up, or at least out of the reach of kids. But in Georgia, it's not against the law to keep a loaded gun under your bed, even if a child thinks this is the perfect place to hide. We uh, keep knives out of reach of our children. And why are we not doing the same for literally a lethal weapon? Jesse Ojeda works at the Gifford Center, um, an organization founded by Congresswoman Gabby Giffords after she was nearly murdered by a crazed gunman. They push for safe storage and child access prevention laws, or CAP. 26 states have such laws, but not Georgia. We have uh, studies going back two decades now, and consistently these show, studies show that where there are safe storage and cap-type laws, there are lower rates of uh, self-harm, lower rates of uh, harm in general. The Georgia House considered such a bill this year, but it never made it out of committee. It's a delay that makes no difference to how the Gwinnett DA sees child gun cases, especially this one. How can you insist on this being the law when it really isn't in Georgia? Well, I guess Georgia is playing catch up because sometimes the law lags behind what people are actually dealing with in life. No word yet on when Osorio will be arraigned. And again, we want to point out that his little boy Salvador made a full recovery, which is just amazing yes. considering how big that gun was. Absolutely. Uh, so if there is no safe storage law in Georgia, right. how is this all going to be charged? Well, uh, reckless conduct is a very broad crime. You have to prove that the father uh, intentionally knew or consciously uh, dis disregarded the risk of putting 
a loaded weapon under a bed that where his child might find it. Uh, and so they think they probably have that type of evidence now because the dad admitted that he yeah, knew the gun was down there. Although there's some other talk about the, the bed being lower than usual and perhaps that's why the dad didn't think anybody could crawl under there. If he did, he was wrong. His son got under there. Well, just to put a fine point on it, you're the one who found the piece of tape where he basically admitted that it was loaded. Yeah, I'm not sure why they didn't see that uh, when they were looking at this case. Yeah. Well All done, right. Randy. Thank Randy, you. thanks.